Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be changing the lighting because I can never get the lighting the way I want it. I'm doing a Vicky Vibes because it's been about a year since I've made a Vicky Vibes video. If I could tell you guys, I'm using this Kiehl's lip balm. Um, if I could tell you guys why I haven't made one in a long time, I would, but I don't have a reason. So I'm gonna do my no makeup makeup look that I've been wearing for like the past week. Um, and it's literally just my normal everyday face routine with some freckles. I don't really have freckles, so I'm doing fake freckles for you today, faux freckles, um, so that you guys can kind of see how I do that. I know a lot of people um, have seen my look with the faux freckles and they're like, oh, that's so cute, you have freckles. I'm like, I don't have freckles, guys. I wish I did. I don't know why I don't, because my family has freckles. I just don't have them. I have on this bandana because my hair is ridiculous. I'm gonna put a hat on. I'm not gonna be wearing makeup on my forehead, so. Yeah, I'm gonna be talking about my college experience. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I know a lot of people that watch me are in school. Either you're in school, you went to school, or you're planning on going to school. But I don't want this to be me bashing school. I don't want this to be a video where I bash college or tell you not to go or this is not me telling you what to do with your life at all this is what i did this is what worked out for me i don't have to give disclaimers because this is my life but at the same time i do have to give disclaimers because some people take words that i hear people say and they run with it and that's not my intention at all i just wanted to give my experience because um a lot of people ask i'm gonna be using my becca um ultimate coverage complexion cream foundation i'm actually going to put primer on first I'm, i want my skin to be kind of dewy so i'm going to use the glossier uh priming moisturizer i don't know why i put that on my forehead i'm not wearing makeup on my forehead i just figured i might as well put it all over moisturized skin is happy skin i should do like a whole a high school experience and a college experience and if you guys want me to talk about my high school experience i can i'm going to be using the gleam by Melanie Mills Body Radiance. This is in rose gold and I'm using it to make my face extra glowy. I actually have like mixing palettes where I can put this on there, but I don't feel like getting them out. I went to a college prep school. I, I kind of already had an idea of what college was going to be like because my school was intense. It was pre-college basically. So I was very prepared for college when I was in high school. They started us thinking about what schools we were going to go to and how to apply and all of that. I didn't really have to worry about getting into school because if you go to a college preparatory school, you're most likely to get into a school. Acceptance rate for my high school, my graduating class was 99% almost 100%. I think one person didn't actually go to college because his dad had a business and he was like, I'm just gonna run my dad's business. There's no point in me going. 99.9% .9 of the people who graduated at, from my school, from my high school, went to college. So it was kind of already planned for us to go to college. I didn't really have a choice. When we walked across the stage at our high school graduation, they said, you have to have a list of schools that you got accepted to so that we can announce it when you walk across the stage. So there was no way that I was graduating high school without picking a school and, and getting accepted and actually enrolling. And on top of that, both of my parents are college dropouts. Halfway through them going to school, they left and had me immediately and got married. I was going to be the first person in my home to graduate. So there was a lot of a pressure on me to go to school and it wasn't like I didn't want to go. But it was just, I didn't, I felt like I didn't have a choice. Or I didn't have a say in the matter. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, I'm just gonna put that on the places where I normally would highlight. We started applying for schools at the beginning of my senior year of high school. And I applied to mainly schools that were close to me because my parents did not want me to leave home. It was kind of like a, oh yeah, Vicky, you're staying close to home. You're not going anywhere. You thought. There was a school that I, grew up knowing about. I had toured it when I was like a small kid. It was just, I like the colors. I know about this school. Everybody I know goes to this school. I'm going to this school. The school I went to was TCU, which is Texas Christian University. Uh, my middle my middle name is Christian and the school is a Christian school, even though 98% of the people there are Catholic, but that's besides the point. It was pretty much the school of choice. For me and for my parents, they've always wanted me to go there. You know, it just made sense for me to go. 
and it is a private college so it's a lot smaller and it is a PWI which means it's a predominantly white school. So the high school that I went to, if you went there, you automatically got into TCU because TCU is like the same thing, like literally the same thing, just a college version. And plus I knew a lot of people who were going because a lot of people that I went to elementary school and middle school with went to that school because it was close to home or whatever. So I ended up applying and I got in and I got a small scholarship, not a lot. It wasn't a huge scholarship, it was just an academic scholarship for making good grades in, in high school. It was just like, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars a semester, which, I mean, that sounds like a lot, but once you pay for your books and stuff, that's it. In high school, I did start making videos and I started, you know, being more candid on camera. So obviously people were like, oh, broadcast journalism, that sounds like something you would be really good at because you like to make videos, you like to talk on camera and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. That sounds like it'll be fun. I majored in journalism. And when I got there, I, I won't say that I hated school, I just wasn't, I didn't feel like I had a school experience because one, I didn't live on campus. It was literally like a 15, 20 minute drive from my house. So I ended up just staying home with my parents, which is what they wanted me to do anyway, which is why they wanted me to go to this school in the first place. I wasn't paying for my school, so I didn't have a choice. It wasn't like I could be like, no parents, I'm leaving. Like, where, where was I gonna get that money from? Where? The whole first year of college, I hated driving back and forth only because I wanted to be on campus with everybody else. So I felt like my college experience wasn't as college-y as it could have been because I wasn't actually living on campus and I didn't go off to college, you know what I'm saying? Like I felt like I was still in high school. I was driving back and forth to school. And then when I was at school, because I wasn't there all the time I, and I didn't have roommates or anything, I feel like even though I knew people, my relationships weren't as strong as they could have been with my friends because I didn't really see them as much as they saw each other. So I felt kind of like an outsider. As far as my social life, my college social life was going, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I wasn't really happy with it because I felt like I was still in high school, especially because going to a small high school where I was literally the only black girl in my grade, it was kind of repetitive for me to be the outsider once again, um, in college, I mean, it, it improved a little bit because college is a lot bigger, so you have a bigger sample space um, to, you know, take your demographics from. So it wasn't like there was five black people. There were hundreds of black people. It's just there were thousands of non-black people. What I did like about school was walking around campus and being free. It was a lot freer than high school, so I will say that I liked that. You know, if you're a person who likes class and likes school, the first two semesters of college, I felt like I had already taken some of these classes. So I really didn't feel like I was learning anything. I was BSing my way through the classes, cheating on the homework because I didn't feel like doing busy work because I felt like I had already done the work before. There were a few classes that I didn't have to take. Like I didn't have to take a math class because I did statistics in high school. I had to take an English class that I had already taken because I didn't take the AP exam which is so annoying because I felt like I had read all the books already. I had already done pretty much everything that we talked about. I felt like that was a waste of time. I, the only classes I really liked my first year of college were the ones that had to do with my major, which you only take one class. You can only take like one class for your major per semester or something like that. It was really frustrating and I know I'm supposed to be like a well-rounded student or whatever, but I just felt like it was dumb for me to not be focusing on the things that I really wanted to focus on. And I've always been really good at school. I've never been the kind of person to get bad grades. Um, I was very studious growing up. I liked to learn. Um, so when I feel like I'm not learning, I feel like I'm wasting my time. It wasn't challenging for me. I don't give up, okay? When something's a challenge for me, I take it head on. And if I know that it's something I need to do, then I'll do it because I know that it's important. School didn't feel important. It didn't feel like a priority. It just, it kind of felt like I was doing high school all over again. So at that point, I was frustrated. I thought changing my major would help. So I changed my major to advertisement public relations. And I think that the second year was important for me to go through because it, it was a good a learning perspective um, for the things that I was going to be doing coming up when I started my YouTube career. I started my YouTube channel in 2010, then I stopped kind of doing it and started focusing um, more on school. But then while I was in school, my friends would go to the club and stuff. And you guys know I'm a preacher's kid, so somebody was going to catch me acting a fool and 
I didn't want to disappoint my parents. And at that time, I had met Cameron, my husband, and we started talking and you know, while I did have guy friends at school who were trying to get at your girl, um, I still had him in the back of my mind all the time, like, uh. So I never really like went too far left when I could have. So my nights consisted of me going home and Skyping Cameron. So when my friends would be going out and, you know, going to parties, going to the club and stuff, doing the college thing, I did it. I went home and because I didn't really have strong relationships with him anyway, I didn't feel obligated to go, but we were friends enough for them to ask me for help and advice um, for going out. So they would ask me what they should wear, they would ask me where to buy the best clothes, they would ask me how to do their makeup. YouTube had started picking up and in finding those videos, I started to be more inspired. So once they saw me doing so well with my makeup, they would ask me to do theirs. Sure, you want to trust me with your face? Okay. So I would play around on them when they would go out and they would they would pay me. So on top of me, you know, already doing videos in high school, you know, being good at photography with cameras and things like that and then learning how to do makeup. I had friends who were um, entrepreneurial kind of people. They were actually business majors who were in the entrepreneurial school or whatever. This is hula bronzer, by the way. They were like, you know what, Vicky, you're, you got a business going on here. You know, you do makeup, you've been taking people's pictures, you know, you could make a business out of this. And so I made a Facebook page and started my own business while I was in college. I started doing makeup and taking pictures. That was like my thing. I had Cameron help me make a logo. He helped me make a business plan for it and everything. It was like a legit little business that I was running. Like I was doing prom makeup. I was doing senior pictures. I was doing photo shoots. It was turning into a real thing. Like that entrepreneurial side of me started, you know, forming and I could see that I was very self-sufficient and self-driven. School stopped being a priority to me because I was like, you know, if this is what I'm gonna do, I got this. School's not teaching me anything. This is bronze, this is bronze me. School really is, was taking a back seat. It was taking some L's once I hit that point. My YouTube channel started kind of picking up once I started doing more makeup tutorials and things like that. So, um, you know, once I started to see these things take off for myself, I was getting discontent with the school. I wasn't learning anything. I wasn't growing in those areas, but I was growing in every other aspect of my life. They kept talking to me about internships and working at a firm and being in an office and all this stuff. And I'm like, that's not what I want to do with my schooling. Plus my parents are dropouts. So I felt like if they could be successful without school, then I can be successful without school. And obviously I'm smart enough to figure this thing out on my own and make my own business. So why can't I just do that? And these blushes are amazing by the way. These are um, Becca Luminous blushes. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. The ones I just put on was Snapdragon and this one is Tiger Lily, you guys. Most beautiful blushes ever. Just wanted to put that out there. Since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be my own boss. That was always like the number one thing that I wanted to do. And then going through school, I was looking at, you know, people's career paths after they get out of school. And I was like, none of these people are their own boss. These people are graduating school to work for someone else. And that's not what I want to do with my life. There was nothing holding me back. There was nothing holding me there. So by the time I made it to my third semester in school, I hated it. I hated all my classes. Um, I hated waking up in the morning and having to drive all the way across town to get to class. Sorry, I can't do that and talk. You know, me and Cameron were really close by that point we were dating. I would be so mad that I had to go to class and he was like, Vicky, do you know why you're in school? And I was like, you know, honestly, I don't know. I feel like I'm here because people want me to be here, but I'd, I'd stopped doing my homework. I stopped turning in assignments. I stopped going to class. I was pretty much already a dropout at that point because I really didn't care at all. And I reached a point where I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. The business that I was running started becoming more important to me. But even those things, I was just so confused about what I wanted for myself. And he was like, you know, I think you don't know what your purpose is. Set aside some time to like really talk to God about this and see like what he wants you to do with your life because you don't know. So after he told me that, I felt like I really needed to learn who I was and figure out what, because obviously I wasn't figuring that out in school and I wasn't figuring that out from the jobs that I was having. By that time I was um, 
doing my business but I was also working at Forever 21 so a lot of these things were just pulling me in different directions and I didn't really know which direction was the right direction so I was like ah I don't know who I want to be school was distracting me YouTube was distracting me working was distracting me I needed to take a break so after that semester was over I was like okay I'm gonna take this summer and I'm really gonna figure out what I want to do so during that summer I continued to work at Forever 21 I continued to make videos um, and do those things because I actually really liked doing those things. They kind of distracted me from being lost. So um, I was continuing to do those things, but at the same time, I was taking a lot of time off to really learn myself, really figure out who I was and really figure out what I wanted to do with my life because there was no point in me wasting my parents' money going to class for no reason. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm taking my brow, my dip brow, and I'm just gonna like use this really skinny brush, this really skinny brush. And I'm gonna poke my face with this brush and make freckles. I took some time off from thinking about school, continued to work, I continued to do the things that I liked, like YouTube and stuff as my hobby. We gonna talk to God about this, we gonna figure this out. And during that summer, I kind of just lost the desire to go back to school. So when the next semester came around, I did not go back. After talking to some of my friends and talking to Cameron and stuff, I decided that I wasn't gonna go back to TCU and I was gonna apply to, to a beauty school or a fashion school. So I looked up a lot of different fashion and beauty schools because that's what obviously I had grown to love doing. So I, I applied to a couple of cosmetology schools but I couldn't decide if I wanted to be an esthetician or do cosmetology because I liked both but I did want to learn how to do hair. I wanted to learn mostly makeup. Cosmetology schools don't focus on makeup, they focus more on hair. So my intention was to get so good at makeup freelancing that I could work at MAC or Sephora or something and get my experience from there. But that never happened. They didn't accept my application because I didn't have enough work experience because I was focused on school so I couldn't work. I'm gonna put some powder over all of this so that it looks more natural. Um, so like it's peeking through my makeup. My intentions were to go to beauty school But I ended up not going because I just couldn't figure out how I was gonna do the whole beauty school thing And I was like, okay school is school. It'll always be there A lot of people ask me what my parents thought about me leaving school. Obviously my parents were both dropouts and So they understand what it's like to not want to be there. I asked my dad. I was like dad What do you think I should do? Do you think I should stay in school? And he was like listen if you don't think you have to be there then don't go. This is your life. You have to live it. You have to be happy with your decisions. We we just want you to be happy. So they were not opposed to me leaving. Um, it was everybody else. Like, I just need to know, like, why people who aren't billionaires were telling me that I needed to stay in school because it makes me more successful. Y'all got degrees and where, where your money at? I feel like success is in the eye of the beholder and I didn't need, I felt, I felt like personally I didn't need a sheet of paper to tell me that I was smart and that I could be successful. I was gonna forge my own path and I was fine with that. I continued to just work and find my way. Eventually I got engaged and I got married because I didn't have a lot of time to focus on school or whatever i just had a lot of time to devote to my youtube channel so i ended up doing that and that worked out for me and that's where we at right now um of course if youtube was to fall apart and disappear overnight i wouldn't be completely lost because i still have all of my knowledge and skills from you know knowing how to edit and do photography and do makeup and stuff i could very well pick up freelancing like i never left so it's not like I just pushed everything to the side to do YouTube. It was just, I felt like being an entrepreneur and doing things on my own and forging my own path. I just felt like that's what I needed to do to figure out who I was. I don't, I don't, I don't regret my decision of leaving school and I don't think that I will ever go back and I don't miss it. But I will say that I think the experience was very important for me and I met some of the most amazing people that I've ever met in my life. So, I mean, if you can go, I would say go and try it out. I'm not saying that it's a bad decision to go to school. I just think that it's not for everyone. The society has put this burden on us to feel like we have to spend thousands of dollars to go to school just to be successful, but not everybody needs that. Some people need it, and I think if you wanna be a doctor or a lawyer and you need training to get the job that you wanna get, by all means, go to school. Go for six, seven, eight years if you need to, but I feel like everything that I do for the kind of creative work that I do, I don't feel like I need it. Um, you don't have to go right away. You can wait until you're 20, 30, 40 years old before you go to school, you know? Some people do that. By all means, do what you gotta do, shawty. This is my 
glow kit. If you feel like school is going to make you successful, then go to school. If you feel like you don't need school to be successful, then don't go. I will support your decision either way. That was just my story. And I'm done with my makeup and I'm going to go put my hat on. This is a hat from Fashion Nova. That's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that it was helpful to you. I hope that you learned something. If you did um, enjoy it or you you know, learn something or you have any comments or questions, you can definitely ask them. I will talk to you guys in my next video. I don't know what my next video will be, but I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay?